Hello students, and welcome back to Hexed Education. Today we'll be uh, tackling the last of our, our Better, du Better Dungeons uh, snow castles with the Snow Village. Now, now the Snow Village is distinguishable from the other uh, s snow castles, and if you look at it on the map, it has a number of small buildings on the inside, but no real main structure. It does have a little bit of a tower up here, but for the most part it's just a bunch of smaller uh, buildings. And that's basically what it looks like over this way. It has the one main tower with, with the uh, the beacon on top. That's actually how you can also tell. It has a redstone beacon with a line of redstone right up there. One thing I should note though is that the snow, snow village often has a basement with a lot of stuff on the inside. So you have to worry about that. Uh, hang on, heading into it, we've got one spawner out there and a couple by the door. So I'm, I'm kitted out, same as last episode, in uh, Hexit Scale Armor. I've got an unenchanted weapons as per usual. I've got a uh, crystal bow. I've got Hunter's handgun with a half stack of concussor shot. And we'll see how we do. Okay, loading up. Here we go. There's one guy over there I need to take out first. I'm pretty sure this is a walker castle. Yep. One down, many, many more to go. So, so this as I said before, this is actually the last of the of the, uh, of the snow castle from for better dungeons. After this, this we'll, we'll be tackling the ice, the, the uh, various caves from from, from from better dungeons, which are considerably shorter. So this, so this will be the end for a little while of these super long episodes. But um, actually, let me know in the comments if you guys have a problem with these larger episodes. I've been debating if I should be doing multiple part. To, to, to these longer ones, but I feel like I actually just have be one episode the way it's more contained. You can kind of pick and choose and fast forward to the parts you like. I know I do. That's one of the reasons that I edit these things so heavily. Oh, defender with an arrow archer on backup. Oh crap. Ah. He flanked me. Smart little guy. Whoa. Did I just jump over him? Not smart. Especially where the, where the, where the guy has a an arrow shot to my nuts. Okay, so. Snow Village. Very confusing. Similar to the last, uh, last uh, uh, castle we went into. You will probably get confused as to which buildings you've been into and which ones you haven't been. So, whenever possible, put down torches. And let's continue. We're going to encounter a lot of walkers. Well, there we go. Yeah, some of which you won't be able to see because of the tight confines of the snow village. And why do... Oh, he's stuck in a hole. Oh, I jumped in the same hole. Not the smartest thing in the world. Yeah, I think this is a partial misspawn. Well, it's not uncommon to find these things so very tightly grouped together. And the map is not always a help because you can you can still miss whole uh, houses. Even if you're trying to go by the map. We're just trading arrow blows here. Only thing I can say is that he's doing the same amount damage to me that I am to him. Uh, maybe a little less, actually. And he keeps missing, too. Uh, he's back. Oh, hello there. You can see you around before. Where'd you come from? Oh, it's because it's a different room. Yeah. The decor in, in, in a lot of these rooms is very similar, so... You will think you've been there when you actually haven't been. I think I'm going to adopt a technique I used a while back. Ah, hello. Hey, guys. Oh. Back away, back away. Where's the third one? Ah, ah there you. No, that's not a different guy. Hey, there you are. 
I knew I heard a healer. There he is. Let me shove up that side. I think that this, this uh, castle is the closest we have to like an urban environment. Look at all the rooftops and things. Hard to hit these guys. And the snow is definitely not helping. So like I was saying, um, one thing, one method I adopted is whenever possible, try and put a torch right by the door. That'll give you an indication of which room you've been in. But again, it's no guarantee that you will have cleared the whole thing. Where are you? Okay, so we did we do this one? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, so mark mark that. I like ideally I like want to put it up up, up above the doorway. But not always possible because a lot of doorways are made out of stairs. Okay, so let's go right. And see, yeah, here's an example. See that? That is someone else's house. I'm pretty sure it's not connected to the other one. Okay, so now we're approaching the lake area of the snow village. It's over there to the right. So you gotta be careful because I think there are often quite a few walkers in there. So, okay, so see this here? There's one house here. Mark this. There's also one over there to the left. It's kind of hard to see. And I go up here, over that rooftop. There's a tree here. Oh, this is like a little park bench. That's kind of cool. Oh, I should probably mention, this is definitely not my first snow village. <clears throat> In fact, after the, um, the, the the cathedral, no, sorry, the Necromancer Castle was my was a, for the first hexit. Oh, hello, Necromancer Castle was the, was the first uh, Better Dungeons castle I, I ever went through. The second one was this. Hello. Oh, it's a hooker. Oh, how sweet. He's after my nuts. Sorry, I don't happen to swing that way now. There's anything wrong with it, but I am. Content in my own personal space. Why do I keep jumping over these guys? I mean, are they, are they, I think it's just that there's that many little nooks and crannies in this thing. It's got more nooks and crannies than a crumpet. It doesn't help that these guys jump whenever you hit them. Like frogs in a frying pan. Alright. In general, it's, it's good to, to look at the what you're standing on. If it is, if it looks like stone brick, you're probably on or next to somebody's house. Oh, knock him off the edge. Don't worry, I'll see him again soon. Okay, there's a little path over here. This is someone's house. Ooh, not that I'll need it, but I got another, I got another regular backpack. Hopefully, I won't need it anyway. That that last dungeon, uh, the castle we went to, we ended up, ended up using <clears throat> four and a half big backpacks. That is a lot for one area. I don't think this one is nearly. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay, so this 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 is this is their neighborhood apparently. Yeah, you want a good good vantage point to shoot from, but at the same time you also want to be able to not get caught in a corner. Healer is definitely not helping things. Where are you at? 
not a good idea in any kind of FPS to jump over the edge of a, of a, uh, of a barrier and not have <coughs> ammo in your weapon. Oh, hello. There you are. Oh, good. The snow stopped. So we went in here. We went in there. Oh, this one we didn't go into. Some of these houses do have multiple entrances and exits, but not many. Okay, that one was good. Ah, no, sn no snow, and the sun's coming up. Okay, I think. Oh, see. Okay, what I was saying before about the uh, the ice area. That's it. Now those guys have it for pretty good pathfinding. So they will eventually find me. Hmm. And I'll get down there eventually. But in general, it's it's easier to shoot fish in a barrel because my concussive shot does a little bit of explosive damage. I can sort of bank shot these guys, even though it doesn't do as much as much damage individually. Oh, hey, we, we didn't do these two houses. Hey, buddy, you got a bit of a pothole situation over here. I'll have to contact the owners about that. Hello! Yeah, sometimes it just can't be helped. Knock these guys off the edge. Even if I hit him with an arrow, he probably still would have gone over. Okay, those two are good. That one we did. There is a rough kind of a pathway through the village, but you can't really trust it. Because <clears throat> a lot of a lot of these places have sort of oh, that guy's glitched through the wall. All right, let's let's head back. Let's head down here and greet these guys. Yep, there's one over to the left. Hello. Hello, guys. Uh oh, gotta shoot them while they're still down. And yeah, you're not supposed to kick a man while he's down, but they didn't say anything about walkers. You know, the weird thing I've noticed is that the hunter's handgun is not just the reload time that, 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 that causes the downtime. It's actually like a one or two second delay right afterwards, too. So if I had to guess, I'd, I'd say it's kind of a tick delay. It, it's like the amount of time it takes for the... Yeah. This is the part I don't like. That cave system in there, that's not natural. That's part of the castle. Oh, dear. And it is deep, it is winding, and it actually goes all the way up to the top. Uh, you know what? Might be as good a time as good a time as any to head in there. I probably missed like one one house up there, but that, that's normal. So again, I'm gonna put down as many torches as I can, mostly for my own uh, viewing. Yeah, I know. I know that this this thing looks organic, but believe me, it isn't. Ow! Crap! Yeah, the trickiest thing about about the, this cave system is that eventually this way does lead to the boss. This is actually the proper way to get there, as far as I can tell. There is a back way by scaling scaling the mountain, but this is the real way to get there. A 
Okay, I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. Okay. This is the way up. <clears throat> I want one thing you gotta be careful about, because this is an ice cave. We're in, obviously, an ice biome. Not that unusual. My ice blocks over here, so don't put your torches too close to them, or they will melt. Another thing is, is that because this thing often spawns in uh, mountain areas, it is hard to tell sometimes where the the generated castle ends and where the regular one begins. But in, in general, you can, you can look at your mini-map. See, I'm still within the confines of the snow village, so this, this is probably all still generated uh, cave. I remember uh, when the first time I came into a snow village, I got really lost under here, and I wasn't sure where to go, and I totally missed this. Look for the stone brick. That's how you can tell which is the right way to go. You can sort of imagine it as being um, that this village w w w was originally the, the um, at the top of this mountain. They dug down in order to, in order to mine, and they built a village around it. So this is kind of oh, this chest cool. So I, oh, another way you can tell which way to go is look for the chests. But also check. Yep, see. Check around the other areas too, because there are hidden chests in, the, in these caves. So anyway, you can ima you imagine it as being uh, th the top first. Dug it dug down for it, and so, so that means that there's a, a remaining uh, shaft right from. Well, so now a shaft's more like a twisty, turny thing, right from the top to the bottom. That's what this is. Okay, just used up the first uh, big, big backpack. So where was that double chest we just saw? <clears throat> Hello. Keep him doing so little damage against this guy. I don't think he's got enchanted armor. He might though. Hello. Oh, that's, that's another hooker. What is it about these guys? They're always after my nuts. Okay, that, that's an infernal. Alchemist, cloaking. He's one chucking potions at me. I can't see anything. Quicksand, darkness, storm, one up. Can't even see his health yet. I'm just randomly shooting into the dark. Did I get him? Yeah, I think that's him. Okay, I think I got him. He had cloaking so he could turn invisible, but I don't think he had ninja, so he didn't teleport. Okay, moving up. We're moving on up to the east side in that deluxe castle in the sky. Oh, see, interesting thing. Uh, occasionally, you will find these little holes. So it is possible to fall into this area on unawares. Oh, see, yeah. And sometimes there are these, there are these sort of abrupt turns in the, in the caves. You might miss. See, that's the way up. I think as you go higher, it does get a little more... Uh, narrow. Oh, hello. Oh, it's one way to tell you heading in the right direction. Hello. Oh, about your friend. I think you guys must shop at the this, at this same uh, gap.
There we go. Because they had identical outfits, shop at the same. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I try, I try my best to to make the puns uh, for these guys, but they just don't seem to appreciate. They still want to want to boo me off the stage and shoot me. Okay, I think we're getting close to the, the boss. Hello, I see you. Yep, that's the boss. Now this is actually our third Walker King. How do I take damage? Wait, why am I taking damage? Is he glitching through the wall? Okay, not too hard to beat, but he is he is pushing me away. He is not dealing me damage. I'm not sure how. It's hard to aim when he when the winds of change are blowing at me. But then again, you know. This guy does, in fact, blow. That's kind of a waste. Okay, is it half health? I got this guy. Hello. I'm wondering if that, if that, if that wind he's firing at me is actually doing me damage. I mean, not very much, but a little bit. Okay, he's down. So we continue past the boss up to the, the tower. Took a bit of a hit there, but nothing too extreme. And again, if I was using enchanted weapons, that would have gone a lot faster. I remember the first time I, I came to this this castle, this type of castle, I came up through here. I went, I went, I scaled the side of it. Cool. Okay, and now we get to the sort of the defining characteristic of, of this castle. You get up to this, this tower, where you can, tell, you can tell we are here in the main tower area. Push the button. That is a T-flop, which activates the redstone band up there. So from a distance, this thing will be flashing. Kind of cool. It's, it's like a like a signal a signal tower. Now I believe the best way to get down is back the way I came. Just want to check out here first. Yeah, you you can scale this thing, and that's what I did, but it's not really meant for it. So I'm gonna head back down, and I'm gonna check the the, the other the other houses. See what else was left. You see up there? Yep, those lights flickering. That's what we, ju we just activated. So you can see it from eh, somewhat distance away, depending on what you have your render distance set at. All right, I think we've got this thing. So uh, just give me a minute, and I'll give you all the loot recap. Okay, we got about a little more than one and a half double chests full of full of loot. So we have some assorted armor here, chain and, and iron. We got some coal. We got a few emeralds. We got a brewing stand, some food. We got a legend gear quiver. We got a, 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 a um, iron scythe. We got a scroll of escape. That's a single use item. We got I guess, some spare essences. We have a stone shield. We got some lawn. And over here, we have some assorted armor. We got some uh, an unbreaking shovel. We have some iron chain and even a diamond. Uh, enchanted headpiece. We've got quite a few chain chest pieces and and uh, body pieces. Got some legs, 
has a, has a block of diamond that we got off, off the Walker King. Some blocks of gold. Some more diamonds here. Some leather. The two jukeboxes. A couple of cauldrons. Some eyes of Ender. Music disc. A lot of food. We got a potion of regeneration. We, we actually got a regular backpack. Uh, we, we have a couple bombs. Very useful. Meteorite boots. Iron bow. Some essences. The Walker sword off, off of the Walker King. So, all in all, not too shabby. Uh, we used up ab around, uh, I think it's like uh, eight rounds. Six, well, yeah, so we, we, we used up eight, uh, eight rounds for our, no. And we used up six magazines of our, uh, of our um, concussive shot. Yeah, it was th 32. So, uh, not very much damage on any of our weapons. A little bit on the Ender Giant Sword, but not too bad at all. Our armor. And a bit of pounding, I'd say this is down to about half durability, but completely reasonable for, for a major castle like that. We didn't actually run into that much difficulty. There was just that one infernal that we had a little bit of trouble with. The, the biggest issue with, with, with this particular um, snow castle is, that is its navigability. It's not very uh, well laid out. It's, it's very, very tight knit and everything. So thank you for, 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 for watching. This has been Kanakadia for Hexa Education. Class dismissed.